now to some stark new numbers about the confidence or lack thereof Americans have in their institutions. The new poll out this morning shows the Supreme Court and the presidency have the largest drops compared to this time last year. Congress still the lowest of all the big American institutions. Only 7 percent of American adults say they have faith it is working properly. Joining us now, Gallup's editor-in-chief, Muhammad Yunus. Muhammad, good morning. It's good to see you again today. Uh, take us through some of these numbers. Obviously, Congress has never been terribly popular with the American public, but we're seeing some real erosion in the presidency and the Supreme Court as well. Absolutely. The two worst um, rated institutions, I have to say, are the one, the one behind me, Congress, and the one I'm in, TV news. Um, and I'd love to talk with you about that later, Willie. Um, at the end. But what's important to point out is that among these 16 institutions that we've been tracking since 1972, 11 saw significant drops this year. But this is a 15-year bipartisan, consistent decline across the board. So this is not something new, unfortunately, for America and Americans, um, but it's only a continuation of a trend we've seen. The average of all institutions, people that rate them the highest or confidence the highest, is now at 27 percent. Say for the record, I have tremendous confidence in Willie Geist. Um, but I Thank wanted you, to dig in a little further on some of the polling results here. Obviously, the Supreme Court has been in the news dramatically in recent weeks and certainly certainly among Democrats, I think their faith in that institution has really fallen. But if you will, speak to us also about the impact of former President Trump, who basically spent four years as president attacking institutions, whether it be the Department of Justice or the media or Congress or the, the executive mansion itself. Uh, what role has he played in, in these numbers? I think the political narrative in the country, I mean, the worse it's gotten, the worse these numbers have gotten. But it's important to keep in mind um, that people are frustrated with different institutions for different reasons. Um, a lot of the narrative that we saw, whether it is from President Trump or specifically um, uh, in the campaign era, uh, and particularly also with Bernie Sanders, really speak to the underlying disappointment that, na that Americans have with national government. Right now, only 13 percent of Americans are satisfied with the way things are going in the country. Um, I think there's hope, though, and there's a lot of hope at the top of that list. And what ranks the highest really are the military um, as well as uh, small businesses. And it's really important to keep in mind that the things that those two institutions represent to Americans, local accountability, failure and success are very clearly defined. They get their hands dirty. They don't take credit for things they didn't do. They really feel different than a lot of the other institutions on that list. I think the media is, a, is one of the most important challenges, and it is different because we've learned that division really sells. Um, uh, so there's a business model challenge with that. But there's a lot of hope for the future. I think when Americans have been celebrating at their highest levels of American, um, for example, we just had Fourth of July, pride in American uh, citizenship. We've made some of the worst decisions as a nation, bipartisan decisions, that we've ever made. Perhaps this relative low is a moment where Americans are looking more closely at their leaders and putting more pressure on the kind of demonstrated leadership they want to see uh, and that they approve of in those two institutions that are at the top. Well, there are two more institutions that are obviously intertwined. That's the police and the criminal justice system. Both fell six points uh, from 2021 to 2022. Uh, and both have, I feel, it feels like have received criticism from both sides of the political spectrum. Break down, if you will, what you're seeing in those two fields. Absolutely. And those are so critical. The heartbreaking story we just heard uh, from your previous segment speaks to that. The police is at a record low in confidence or historic low. And we really saw it dip dramatically in the summer of uh, the murder of George Floyd. But it is important to point out among Republicans, the two institutions that lost confidence the most this year were the military and police. So it's not necessarily a partisan uh, uh, issue here. However, the police is one of those institutions. Obviously, it's a local institution. We ask about it nationally. It's one of those institutions that we see the biggest differences along party lines, but also that we see differences, of course, along racial lines. Um, and that's been a consistent challenge that has uh, been with us for several, for several years now. 
And as we talked about many times on this show in recent weeks, there's so much weighing on the country right now. There's a general feeling that the country's on the wrong track. Seventy five percent say that in the latest NBC News poll. Editor in chief of Gallup, Mohammed Yunus. Mohammed, thanks so much for bringing us the new numbers. We appreciate it.